Let's get the show on the road! Transform! Hey everybody, Massfit in A4, and welcome to stream number 727, and welcome back to Persona 4 Arena Ultimax! Except we're playing the Arena version with Ultimax's gameplay. It's a little confusing, but today we are tackling Yosuke Hanamura's story. Started a bit later than I wanted to, you know, typical story coming from me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do this as quickly as possible, because we are playing in a Smash tournament in 2 hours and 15 minutes. So we're gonna be cutting it pretty close! I'm going to guess his story is going to be shorter than Narukami's, but I think I have a pretty decent idea on how it's gonna go. Oh, I'm so tired. What a busy day. Hey man, Golden I'm tired week, too. Huh? The holidays fell on pretty good dates this year. Jeunesse will be open for business during Golden Week 2. Come for our exciting Golden Week events. Stay for the low, low prices. Uh, then again, it's my fault for taking this shift. That's a mood, bro. <laughs> That's a mood. Also, um... Do you guys hate it when your computer, like, updates, and then there's programs that are just gonna auto-update? So basically, like, my Logitech stuff, I'm using a Logitech headset, it messed with my audio controls, so my mic's louder than normal. I usually have, uh, my mic audio on OBS at, like, 4.0 dB, but now I have to bump it down to zero, and it still seems pretty loud, but... Yeah, streaming ranting, though. Yeah, this is Yasuo Inaba. Yasuo Inaba, Inaba City? <laughs> That's totally not redundant at all. I won't be reading all of the inner monologue, but uh, I'll be reading it, like, when I feel it's right, or if I'm not lazy. Because, like I said in Yu Narukami's story, there is a lot, a lot of mental thinking going on around here. You know, I always wondered, what well, what would have ever happened if somebody bought the display TV that the investigation investigation team goes through, like specifically that one? Or it might be retail where. Uh... Well, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah, that's right. I'm free. <laughs> It could be where you have to buy all the ones in the back before you can get the display one, or the display one might not be for sale. Interesting to think about. Partner's gonna be back. Yeah, you know Arkami's gonna be back, bro. And the guy who transferred in from the city last year, you know Arkami. <laughs> Yeah, we know that case. With the murders! Or nobody knew how they died, except for them. It's still kind of weird, though, how these bodies just pop up randomly. On the other side. <laughs> na 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 Fighting and investigating. The word Fred, does this doesn't cut it anymore? Yeah, they're they're homies. Beyond friends. So partner feels more natural than best friend. <laughs> Golden week it is. <laughs> yeah, good thing they took Golden Week off. Imagine you had to work, because, like, 
Time to go home and get Yo, there's like the, 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 the midnight channel is back. <laughs> but I can't help you guys because I got work. And there's Teddy. So I wonder what, what what's up with Teddy because Teddy went missing, Rise went missing, and Kanji went missing. I'm curious to see what happened to Teddy. Because Yosuke just mentioned him right now, but I guess we'll we'll figure that out. He's supposed to be in the Teddy. same ship as me. Hello? Where is that guy? That's weird. He usually comes running in ready to leave work. They asked the cleaning ladies, but nobody's seen him since lunch. Bro, they yoinked him into the TV world after lunch? That's crazy. There's no way. Is this him? Oh, it's Chie. Yo, Chie, what's up? Oh, I'm glad you picked up. Are you free to talk right now? Chie Satunaka. Fellow classmate at Yasugami High School. I am the dragon! <laughs> they were the only ones. <laughs> Brainstorming, I guess, and steak. Probably just forgot we we're meeting up. Decided to mess with her a little. Yeah, I just got off work. Didn't I already email you about tomorrow? You deleted it without reading it, didn't you? I didn't delete it. Uh, she's so defensive. I didn't even send her an email. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Yosuke trolling. I heard a sort of disturbing rumor. The Midnight Channel might be back again. Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait. This is this is some some new territory. That takes me by surprise. The Midnight Channel. Oh no. That was an urban legend. <laughs> Sounds sketchy. Hmm. There's no way. Who told you that? An underclassman at our school. I tried to get more details out of her, but she took off in a huge hurry. Dude, that's not sus. At her or anything when you asked her about it, did you? See now, Chie grabbing the poor kid by the collar, scared her out of her wits. She'd do it too. She doesn't stop once she gets an idea into her head. N no, I was completely normal. At least I think I was. So anyway, the girl she was with said something about a fighting show. I didn't get any details, but she didn't seem like she was lying. Fighting show? That's nothing like what was being shown on the Midnight Channel last year. True, nobody was really fighting. Hmm, whoa, 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 they were talking about the Midnight Channel? Ah, uh, here we go again. Forecast says it's gonna rain tonight. Why don't we check it out? Yeah, good call. If this is for real, we can't ignore it. But if it turns out to be a hoax, you better buy me dinner. Hmm, then you owe me steak if it's true. What? Anyway, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Yo, Yosuke always losing, bro, when it comes to these bets. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man. <laughs> Dang it. Uh... Midnight Channel, huh? If it's true, that guy is a disaster magnet. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're coming. You don't come to my city. Why not? <laughs> Everyone you love is now dead. The Mystery Maker. Sup, my fellow Jisoo fan? Hey, man, you're in the 
You're in the wrong Smasher channel, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I should call Kanji too, just in case. Oh, they mentioned Kanji finally. That's a lawn. That's a lawn ringer. I'm not. <laughs> huh. Not picking up. How are you doing, Sky? Maybe he's too busy knitting something. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. He's like knitting something. Dude, I remember doing needlework in like grade seven. Never again. Sewing class? Nuh uh. Be losing my mind trying to get the thread in the needle. Tatsumi Textiles. Come on, answer already. Guess I'll try his home phone too. Tired. Hello, this is the Tatsumi residence. Oh, I'm sorry to call. Why are you tired? Uh, this is Yosuke. Um, is Kanji Kun there? Oh, hello, Yosuke Kun. As for Kanji, huh? D did something happen? I can't find him. <laughs> I thought he was sleeping in the living room, but he wasn't there when I checked in on him. I thought he might be with you. Oh, yes. We're gonna have an all-night study group, and I bet I just missed him. I'll wait up for him here. <laughs> Okay then. Good night. Oh man, I totally panicked there and came up with some lame PS. <laughs> the fact that they wrote BS. Uh, barely any sleep. Oh, I see. I didn't sleep that much last night. I'm I'm working off of three hours of sleep. Too busy on the Monster Hunter Rise grind, and then I'm not gonna sleep again tonight because new Kirby game. Ah, why am I freaking out so much? This is Kanji All of the content. About. So what if I can't get a hold of him? I'm sure he's fine. Copium. I'm sure he's okay. I'm sure all of these rumors of the Midnight Channel mean nothing, and Teddy is disappeared, and also Kanji. Also, I'm curious if like I know Rise is in the is in the TV world, but is she oh, did she still stay in Inaba for an extra year? Actually, she said she's gonna leave later. Never mind. I got that up. I figured Teddy isn't home either. I grab some food and head into my room. Kirby, sleeping? You're right, Kirby sleeps a lot. You're absolutely correct, Sky. <laughs> yeah. This is iNews, and here are our top stories. We begin with a hijacking of a domestic flight to Kagoshima yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hijacked a flight, bro. Yeah, things are crazy all over the country. That's today. so OD. <laughs> That's so OD. That has to that has to be involved the P3 cast. It has to be. Like uh, we heard it from Narukami's story, and now we're hearing it now. <laughs> There's just no way. Catch me on Yuzu when I find the, the leak. Oh, there's uh, there's already been like a leak thread that I've been like reading and stuff. I already know about. Um, I pretty much already know about the game. I'm obviously not gonna say it now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stare, stare, stare. Move your minute hand. It's Yukiko. Another grill is calling. She's the biggest airhead I know. <laughs> I mean, she wants every dude in Japan once. I think we're all in for some trouble. What? Man, 
man, Yosuke sure has a lot of inner monologue while his friends are trying to call him. <laughs> Yukiko's probably thinking, Why is he taking so long to pick up? Deep down, she's just a normal girl of real feelings. Um, Yosuke-kun? Good evening, this is Yukiko. I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me to. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet she was half asleep when she emailed you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try making a joke. Come to think of it, Yukiko never calls me, so she must really be worried. Saying that Risei-chan disappeared. Oi! I mean, not literally, but it seems they can't get in contact with her. Really? Not Kujikawa. So she's been going in and out of the city. Okay, that's it. Her manager couldn't get a hold of her. Oh no. She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. Yukiko's voice is gloomy. Listening to this is making me restless, too. That's true. Your your mind goes to the Shadow Realm. What would you do? Hmm. Well, let's not get carried away. First, we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? Hmm. You're right. Thank you, Yosuke-kun. Let's go, Broske. And let out a sigh. Wait, this, this, he didn't mention Teddy to her. That's crazy. Where's Joker? <laughs> Probably in some rural town. This is way too much to be a coincidence. You and Arakami hesitate. Oh, he's no. not even here yet. I'll only make him worry. As the leader of our investigation team, you had the biggest part in it all. True, he is a wild card user after all. If anything, I should call him after I know something. It's raining! Oh no! No. Can't happen. It's over. <laughs> Silly Yosuke Hanamura. This is Persona 4. You think Atlas is done with you? <laughs> it's almost midnight. I was probably going to play the same cutscene again, like, uh, from Narukami's story. We'll let it play here, too. Rivals. My ears! My ears! Yes, powerful oh! What the fuck? The desperate fighting program amongst high school students. A new legend is about to start! of all men! Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako! The sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night, Captain Risaltimo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has gotta go! 
a spunky dragon with deadly legs, the carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Chie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable snow black Fuck, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in I'm one stroke! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles! The, the blood curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep into realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius, the 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! And survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix, where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight! I, I like it so far, Devin. Also, um, one thing I realized... What? What on earth was that? Um, Narukami was talking to the Teddy earlier in the, in the day, and then Yosuke couldn't find Teddy, so I wonder what's up with that. I don't know if Shadows can call Narukami in the middle of the day, or maybe Teddy was talking to Narukami and the guy joined afterwards. <laughs> Why'd they call me Captain Ressentiment? <laughs> Ressentiment. <laughs> Kid Moron's class. Yo, R.I.P. Kid Moron. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like Chie, Chie got the worst name. They said that she rejected womanhood or dropped it or something. <laughs> Yeah, like, I remember going into the settings trying to figure that out, and there's no, um, cutscene volume toggler, which is pretty annoying. Like, hopefully they patch that at some point, but for the time being, we gotta hold that L. Or I gotta hold that L. <laughs> yeah, the Midnight Channel shows the weakest part of you. I wanna crawl under a rock and die. Broadcast all over town. Sounds about right. Hey Izzy, can I tell you about my time on P4AU ranked at 4 a.m.? I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're playing at 4 a.m., you're playing against sweats. <laughs> Let's hear it. You got two rage quitters. What, were you mashing Chie auto combo over and over and they got pissed off? I got pissed off too. I want to rage quit was though. Was Teddy in that weird costume? He was acting like the host. Does that mean he's the one broadcasting the Midnight Channel? How dare you, Teddy? Don't need a mash Chie auto combo. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, you probably know a lot more than Chie auto combo. Just don't let anyone have to turn in the corner. <laughs> this is an RPG, Devin. You should let the other guy have a turn. Should I tell him not to come? Wait, can I tell him at all? <laughs> I know, I'll at least say he has a sister complex. I won't be able to help myself. <laughs> Dang, bro. The rest of confusion, the sudden sound scares the living crap out of me, and I panic for a second. Get it together, Yosuke. You're a third year. Get it together. Who could be calling now? Ah, oh, hell no. Of all people, it had to be you. What should I do? Hello, Reese mates. <laughs> Don't tell him. I reflectively hit the answer button before I figured out what to say. Uh, hello, this is Yosuke. Yosuke? I seen a ton of the dachis. I've only fought one of dachi. He kept dropping his uh, his persona on my head. It was very annoying. There's the. Oh. I just freaked out when you called all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it. What's up? Hey, when do you want to meet? That's not why I was calling. <laughs> that's not why I was calling. <laughs> I saw the midnight channel. You saw it too, right? Uh huh. My mind went blank. How do you see it? Isn't it only a local thing? Imagine Yosuke's probably freaking out. Did the entire world see? Did Teddy 
he not tell you? Since we're meeting up early tomorrow, I decided to come today. Maybe he sensed how bewild I was since he explained everything so calmly. <laughs> Teddy disappeared before he could tell me you was coming. Hmm. I figured you wouldn't think I could have seen it, so I gave you a call. Uh, well, I assumed you weren't here yet, so I didn't want to rely on you. <laughs> you haven't changed. I can just see him shaking his head. <laughs> you can't see him shaking his head. This is a visual novel. <laughs> you guys are still well, PNGs. Bad. You're not gonna leave this be, are you, Captain Rasantama? Why'd you zero in on that part? Did you see how they called you a sister complex kingpin? <laughs> Mine's not that bad. You think? <laughs> I love Narukami. I, I hope in oh, Persona 6, I whenever that happens, that program's not like, the only strange thing lately. Teddy, Rise, you know, and Kanji aren't here either. P pump some personality into the pro tag. Like, you don't have to be mute, right? You can still have the. Uh, Multiple choice answers and all that stuff. <laughs> because I know outside of like Persona 4 and Golden, like people love Narukami. I'm one of those people. He's awesome. Welcome back, partner. It's good to be here. They gave Joker Ren his personality in his game. Yeah, they kind of did. Haven't played Royal yet. <laughs> I will say though, watching uh, Persona Five the animation English oh, dubbed, right. uh, I did like it better the second time I watched it. But that anime still has. You uh, sure? I thought you were really looking. Got some weird animation moments, but we all know that already. I have a bad feeling about this. Warren Bells go off my head before I can figure out what's going on. Yeah, he, he just, nurses kind of came out of left field here. Because <laughs> Teddy just said, Oh, Yosuke has a nurse's fetish. Did he watch the original P4 Wait, anime? Of course, dude. I didn't know you were into nurses. Of course. Ah, nah, shut up. That's the P4 you anime is great. Wind me up, aren't you? Stay home, you jerk. <laughs> but I'm already here. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I hang up, barely resisting the urge to throw the phone across the room. How dare you, Teddy? How dare you? How am I supposed to look everyone in the face tomorrow? <laughs> That's so Yosuke. Um, I was gonna save this uh, this point for much later. I'm probably gonna burn it up again, but seeing the characters act like themselves, like to a T. <laughs> is great because i know like when it comes to persona q the persona q series a lot of people's complaints are like a character is one dimensional or they don't act like themselves but like th this feels like they're ripped out straight out of golden it's good R remember the ugly ass all attack yeah dude we don't speak of that bro we, we don't speak of that <laughs> funny enough in the p5 anime i think my favorite Fight is uh, with the third palace ruler, uh, the one where you get uh, Nijima. Um, it's my favorite, but it's still not that good, if that makes any sense. So, uh, it's it's not the best. It was still an enjoyable watch, but like, bruh. I think Persona Q is fine at the characters IMO. Uh, uh. Uh, kinda. I don't fully agree, but, uh, each to their own. Yosuke was like a punching bag in that entire game, bro. <laughs> For everyone. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor's finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Yeah, I know, yeah, people get mad about Chie and Akihiko the most. <laughs> Literally, Akihiko will not shut up about protein. <laughs> and then Shinji was like, Shinji literally will be like, Alright, you're such an idiot, Akihiko. Stop trying to pick fights with everyone. You're so dumb. Stop talking about protein, bro. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, Ray. We don't speak about Ray. <laughs> we don't speak about Ray. gotta deal with it. Oh, is it about your guidance counseling paper? The teacher asked me to tell you that you need to hurry and turn yours in. Huh? You haven't turned that in yet? <laughs> Yikes! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I really like Fee's voice actor. Being more mild for us Western we people. Hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. I mean, it's pretty exciting, but the reason we're reforming the team is because there's another case to solve. And we're missing half of our party. <laughs> Rise, God. Kanji, God. Teddy, God. <laughs> Nobody's mentioned Naoto at all. <laughs> Wait. Well, let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Risa. What's wrong with Ray from Just PQ? Three, right? Yeah. Okay, so oh, here's here's my that, issue with uh with Ray from she PQ. You didn't have problems job, with her? So I didn't want to worry her. Uh I'm pretty bummed that she couldn't be here too. So for example, like her being obsessed with food, after seeing the full game, it makes sense to me why she's obsessed with like food and all that stuff. That's fine. What what I didn't like about Zen and Ray, for the most part, is like everything like about them just like blew up at the very end of the game. It wasn't like a steady progression. Like, yeah, there are hints to um, all of the items that were found at the end of the labyrinths every time you beat a, a main shadow and got a key unlocked, but it. it I, don't, I don't know, bro. It, it just. Going by the pattern from last year. It Everything just happened too quickly, and it's like, where was this for most of the game? <laughs> like, like, where was this? People was shown together. Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions? No, Chi and you could cry and lies and slander. I don't think it was too quick. Well, let, let, me, let me rephrase, like, what bothers me uh, in fact, it's like the opposite, it wasn't like too quick, it's just like, yeah, nothing was going on with her for fishy. the entire game, until uh, after we beat the, the fourth no, labyrinth no. boss, like the rabbit guy, and then, like, they're talking about, like, a, a was it a suicide note? And it was, like, very obvious about, like, somebody, like, dying, it's like, oh, it's, it's Ray. And then we'll she gets kidnapped, and, and then, like, oh, on. so, I, I don't know. The end feels... Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out. <sighs> trying to, trying to, I'm trying to put my, my uh, thoughts in the words properly, because I know it's been a while. Because I know it said it a lot more clearly in uh, the PQLP when it was actually happening in real time. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Trying to understand your thoughts. Yeah, that's fine. I'm like projecting them terribly. If anything, I like the original character in uh, original characters in Q2 much better than uh, Zen and Ray. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. I'm not liking them at all. Well, we have different opinions, I guess. Now we must fight to the death and try to ratio each other on Twitter, because if you have a different op opinion than me, then you must be Hitler. You must you must kick puppies on your spare time, and you just you just hate everyone. You probably have, like, a, a dungeon in your basement where you keep uh, human beings in, where they can't go meet their families, and you feed them once a week. You, you terrible person. That's Twitter in a nutshell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we love Persona Q. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but like Zen and Ray, they were they were just there. They were just there.
And then uh, with like Hikari and like the films, what am I they have they had like some connection to her. I thought that that format was a lot better, like Q1 did. I know Sky's memeing, but I really do love P Q1. I, I know you love Q1. Uh, I, I hate that game. That game pisses me off. Uh, let's talk about a better game, which is Persona 4 Arena. Depending on who you ask if this game's better or not. Remember the bunny boss? Like Bro, the bunny boss? Full of <laughs> the, the bunny boss live, dude? Like <laughs> that was a funny stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny stream. Uh, that game, that know, game was more tolerable with chat, even though I wanted to kill somebody. I'm a little nervous. But, uh, that was funny. What was with the bunny boss? Dude, like, Alice just loves bunnies at this point. Oh, Any spin-off game, it's, it's gonna be a bunny hey, boss somewhere. Get ready! Huh? The customers are going hey, away! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that bunny boss did not want to die. Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Oh yeah, the others don't have the velvet room, so we won't be getting interrupted by Margaret all the time. What? Are you kidding me? I thought I'd get six bookmarks for, uh... For each character. Okay, I'm gonna keep scene two open, and... Wait. That would mean, like... Okay, so, I know there's more than six characters. Would that mean I lose my progress? Would I lose my progress then? Because for you, Narukami, his story's to be continued? So if I got rid of all those bookmarks, would I lose it? There's too many characters. Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> Hear a lot of people talking from far away. You don't remember? Oh, we're gonna figure out the hard way. I raised my... He's at the desk. <sighs> I should hurry home and get to work. Saving on multiple slots. Hey man, it's the LP way. It sounded cheering. Look around, but there isn't anyone left in the room to ask. FF7 save slots? Shh. <laughs> Alright, later, Devin. I'll try to. One Grand Prix? I've seen those words somewhere before. Where was it? Where did I see it? Dude, is this in front of Yasugami High? Do I love I love cherry blossom trees. Do you think it's funny? They're so Post awesome. Motion like this at school. I bet it's see everyone involved in this heading home right now. Turn around and look where that whistle came from. See a female student standing there holding a megaphone. Amy Rose. She has a long ponytail and strong willed eyes. Damn, she's really hot. <laughs> oh, dude, y Yosuke's monologue's great, bro. <laughs> she really stands out, but I don't think I've ever seen her before. Where did they get this huge set? Some people are always up to shenanigans. I almost see the anger baking off of her. She definitely has a lot of spirit. School spirit! Yeah! 
Yeah, none of the other students had so much as turned around. She gets ready to blow her whistle again when her eyes meet. Uh, hello. All of our super armor. It's you, that Grand Prix contestant, Yosuke Kun. I mean, Captain Ressentiment. Oh, right. I remember now. A P1 Grand Prix that showed up on the Midnight Channel. Use the sister complex Kinpin and Chie's a carnivore. <laughs> And I'm Captain Hyzentima. What a fantastic nickname. We just want to go kill me. <laughs> I know you should have laughed at that, but like... Yosuke's awesome, man. Like, this is exactly what I'd, I'd see him thinking in his head. You're fussing up to be in part of it, huh? Well, listen up. You better cut this crap out quick. The student council didn't approve this. Huh? The student council? Come on. Don't tell me you don't remember who your student council president is. Student council president? Hmm. Hello, boys and girls of Yasugami! The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin! Boys. Is that Rise? She's here at school? They're even using the school PA system. How many times do I gotta repeat myself? This is your last warning. Stop this at once. Oh no, it's Miss Sourpuss. She's trying to stop our fun. Everyone, get her out of here. After Risa gives the order, all those students turn around to look, and then they rush straight at us. <laughs> Stampede! Yoshi Final Smash! He's not a single one of them gave a damn about their president up until now. Hey, you're kidding, right? Dude, Risa, do something about this. What are they trying to do to us? I'm not gonna start anything crazy here. But this is probably isn't the time to start t taking things easy either. At the very least, she gets this girl to safety. Turn out I turn toward her. Surprisingly, she's standing her ground in the face of all the students. She's defiantly staring back at them. I warned you all. Miss President tosses her megaphone aside and lightly taps one of the charging students. And he slams to the ground as if a truck had hit him. Dang, she tossed that kid aside. The other students sued me to the same thing. Dude, I need to get that I need to get that screenshot. Have it as a like a reaction. <laughs> a reaction like That's picture. Amazing. The other student students suffered the same fate. <laughs> and then they died. <laughs> You're joking, right? My body moves out of in out of instinct. Ah, what are you? Hey. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> huh? Did Jiraiya save dead? him? What was that you did? I slowly open my eyes and see someone I know very well standing before us. The other me, my persona, Jiraiya. The monitor is cut right in half, and the two pieces lie on either side of us. I was able to summon my persona. Huh? Wait, isn't this Yasugami High? You can only summon personas inside the... Wait, why the music get quieter? Dude, the, uh, the audio mix in this game, very sus. Hmm, and who is this girl? What the heck is our school doing inside the TV world? Sitting there confused when Reese's voice chimes in from the PA system. You should have just died. What? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You just get in the way and cause trouble for people around you. What? Reese. That was definitely Reese's voice. So I guess she's inside the TV too. But I'd never expect her to say anything that cruel. What's going on here? I won't let you destroy the school. You're in the announcement room, huh? Well, wait there! I'm coming for you. Uh, hey, what are you going to do? 
the student council president starts running towards the school building. And she turns around and waves. Thanks for saving me back there. After all that glaring, this is the first time I've seen her smile. Wow, she's cute. After that, she runs off again like the wind. And she thanked me too. So I've gotten... Oh, no, bad Yosuke. There's no time to get hot and bothered. Wait up. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this. It really was impressive the way she was tossing those people left and right. It was too dangerous to run around here without a persona. <laughs> Besides, a world like this and the TV means... But as I try to chase after her, the PA cuts into my train of thought. Sorry about that mishap. The first round's challenger is already here. The watching students are all looking this way. Wait, does she mean that this challenger is... Huh? Me? But first, the general has a few words for you all. A nearby monitor turn, turns on. Teddy is on it. This day has finally come. I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix. Teddy, you bastard. What are you doing? You disappeared and we bring out his opponent. Hey, listen to me. Smoke shoots out enveloping everything. Wait. Someone's stepping out of it. You're all ready for late. Chia? Oh, it's Yosuke. What a letdown. Jeez, sorry it's only me. Hey, what's going on here? Risa and Teddy both seem... Uh... Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Chia's acting weird. Okay, she's always weird, but this is weird even by Chia standard. Her eyes are glittering, and she's... What the hell? Why is she looking at her lips while she's staring at me? Oh, snap, Yosuke, it's time! Did you know that you guys get sh- Huh? Sure. Hey! What? Would it be better to fatten you up first? I'm not a fan of stringy cuts. Hey, yo! You. What are you saying? I, I mean, seriously. Wait, wait a second. Maybe it's just a figure of speech for something more... Intimate. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no way she'd have the guts to say that right in front of everyone. As I panic, Chie strikes a kung fu pose and makes a forceful declaration. You want to hear the reason I eat meat? Because it's there! So that is what you mean. And why are you saying that like you're quoting someone? Yosuke, don't worry. It'll be painless. No, nah. -uh. There's no way it won't hurt. You'll continue to live inside me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay inside me. Oh no. She has gone bye bye. The sexual tension. <laughs> you can cut it with a steak knife. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to hear that today. I don't know how to play Yosuke, by the way. I'm a Margaret main. I'm still noob at game. We're risking a mash. Let's go for grab! Come on. Get off me! Oh, that's a counter! I didn't know that. Ow. That's my DP. Oh, that's not all on attack. 
I meant to do my DP, but I pressed the wrong button. I forgot I changed my controls. Woohoo! She didn't for us! Yay! I enjoy living. Outside of her stomach. <sighs> I beat her. What the hell was with her? Not even Shadow Chia was that cracked up. <laughs> That's true. What's the matter of Chie? Does she go bonkers when her state gauge reaches zero or something? She groans and starts from the... You just called me controller player? You play keyboard on this guy? Ow. I, I hope you've learned your lesson and never even think about attacking your friends again. Quickly put some distance between us and yell from a ways away. <laughs> Cooties! <laughs> uh. First you insult me, then you kick my ass. You moron! Insult you! No, I play stick. Oh. You have a box? PC box? All I remember is what they were said before the fight was her eyes cold and sinister. <laughs> you went on and on about how I'm a coward and a brat! When did I have time to say anything like that? You were about to eat me! What? Eat you? That had better not be a crude innuendo for anything. I meant it exactly how it sounded. I was scared to death of you, stupid Chie. What? Stupid Chie. You're stupid for calling me stupid, stupid Yosuke. See, that's something <laughs> This is random YouTube video <laughs> where somebody somebody puts it on repeat where Yosuke goes, stupid Chie, and then she's like, stupid Yosuke, stupid Chie, stupid Yosuke. <laughs> I've never seen that. I was like, what the heck is this? Teddy looks annoyed. Hey, we're the ones that should be annoyed with you. We're done. Sheesh, what's up with this? Come on, head over to the school building. Your next opponent's waiting. I'm not doing this anymore. You're obviously fine, so I'm going home. But you can't. Chie Chan lost, so she can't even move from that spot. Huh? Ow! There's something here. She ignores Teddy and starts walking away, but then suddenly sits down and clutches her head. Huh? No one gets to leave until the tournament's over. Only the one who fights to the bitter end and is crowned victor can earn freedom! Good luck! Hmm. So Teddy baits Narukami with Nanako, and then this is how he gets Yosuke to move on. Interesting. Damn that Teddy. Well, I'm staring at the monitor. I can hear Chie yelling in the background. What's she doing? Chie is doing jump kicks, but every time she does, she stops in midair before she lands. What the? That's a neat trick. Is it like pulling punches, but in midair? Whatever it is, she's pretty good at it. She notices that I'm staring at her and turns toward me. There really is a wall. A wall? Try walking through the spot where Chie keeps getting stuck. Nothing. <laughs> Teddy, more like Petty. <laughs> That looks like she really can't pass through. Is this what Teddy was talking about? Only the victor can go on or something? Since when could he do fancy stuff like this? And he said that nobody gets to leave until this tournament is over? Huh. So we don't have a choice but to go along with this. Well, uh, I guess I'll be going then. There were four of us who came in here, so at most I need to fight two more battles, right? Are you gonna fight Yukiko and Yukin then? Of course not. The only reason I fought you just now is because you attacked me first. If there has to be a winner and loser, I'll just forfeit as soon as the battle starts. If I find Teddy along the way, I'll deal with him too. Oh, good idea. In that case, don't be so harsh on your next opponent before the match, okay? You're the one who is doing that. I hope you don't start eating things off the floor when you get hungry. Why would I do that? I'll be waiting, so be careful. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, I remember that when he ditched her in the TV, she was really sad. Yeah. You gotta really hey, son of your Medify, when we do lessons, right now. All right, bro, who do you main? Who's 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 your main? He boots me in the ass. <laughs> Pick up my pace, but I noticed something. We're not inside the school yet. We should get a move on. There are students peeking all out the windows at me. No, they're not students. Take a closer look at them. You mean Yukari? Here's what you do. Remember when we fought the other night? You keep doing that. Against any opponent. If you're fighting me though, don't do that. Because that's cheap and not fair. But do it against everybody else. Just, just mash, mash arrow. Just keep, 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 keep shooting. Keep shooting. If they turn off the game, that's even better. That's faster. Speedrunning, speedrunning ranked points. And also, uh, people are gonna hate you because you play Yukari, because, oh, Yukari, P3, bad character, because she's a realistic teenage girl. So, get ready to get hated on. This is definitely inside the TV. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it a school? Damn it, I don't get this at all. Great advice, of course is great advice. I'll be two hundred dollars, please. Oh well, yeah, also like switch if you start losing. If you're a zoner, it benefits you. Hikari the Queen. The GOAT. <laughs> Alright, is this the place? Bring out the next challenger. Who's it gonna be this time? As if in response, the monitor turns on and Teddy's stupid costume fades in. Hey, that's my line. Jeez, stop throwing me off like that. If you don't stop this prank soon, I'm going to make your next ship <laughs> a living hell. <laughs> Look how Teddy's just smoking a joint. <laughs> uh, man's got the bison hat. The joint. Be a surprise for you? Sensei's coming back, so I thought this cool surprise party. Sorry, but I forgot to tell you. <laughs> kind of dumb surprise party. Did you support our Queen Jisoo on Twitter the other day? Yo, uh, uh, <laughs> uh good for her. Or sorry that happened. Uh, <laughs> The smoke starts whooshing out again. Four of us jumped to the TV at Juness, so I'm betting it'll be you or Yukiko this time. But if this is a surprise party for you, then it should be. Huh? Yosuke kun Alright! Hey Yukiko, I wanna ask you something. Is this some kind of surprise party? You guys didn't tell me anything about. As I walk toward Yukiko, she suddenly holds up her fan. What's that stench? Huh? I thought there was a wet dog here. What? Does she mean me? A couple of whiffs of my shirt. I can't notice anything odd. Did I get all sweaty from that fight with Chie? Still, being told right in my face that I stink really hurts. To compare to a wet dog? S sorry. Um, so, Yukiko-san. Did you run into Teddy or Reset? They're calling this a Grand Prix and making us fight to see who the winner is. Apparently we can't leave until- You're talking too much. I have about as much interest in what you're saying as I do in Plankton. Plankton? But you can't even see those without a microscope. Bruh! Yukiko is acting strange. Even stranger than Chie. I don't know, I feel like... Somebody saying I'm going to eat you... Is more strange than what she's saying. 
I might just be me. Yukiko, this isn't a welcome back surprise for you, is it? Hmm? No, it's a grand prix for you, Yosuke-kun. And given what a goddamn pain in the ass it's been so far, <laughs> wait till it's over. <laughs> language. <laughs> you gone nuts? What the hell, man? <laughs> Dude, I, these characters are saying lines I never thought I'd hear them say. It's actually quite hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so that's why hers was carnivore. That makes sense now. Those nicknames have some truth to them, then. But why? The Grand Prix for me? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Now you're ignoring me? Ugh. Even if this is all an act, it's still soul crushing. Hey, listen, we can't leave here until the Grand Prix ends, so let's just half ass this. If you don't mind going on to the next round, I'll forfeit without attacking you. Oh, though if we did it that way, you'd have to fight again. Be faster if I won and got my hands on Teddy. <laughs> I hate to make Yukiko go on ahead and have to fight even more of us. It's probably not a good idea. Yukiko, will you lose this round for me? Even though you've lost in the battle of life? Yikes, this is so bad. What the f- Oh my god. Guys, I was, I was not ready for this. So large. Why, my dear? The better to shut up that filthy mouth of yours. That's the wrong fairy tale. Oh, fine. I'll end this as quick as I can. So bear with me for a bit. Wow, things are starting to heat up. Let's get this battle started. Dang it, Risa! Quick, go to her on. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn, it looks like I really have to overcome the Amagi challenge if I want to get out of here. She called him a failure in life. That was so out of left field, bro. What the heck? I wasn't ready for that. Man. <laughs> Yukiko, a zoner. We must get in. Uh, I try to quarter circle back. I don't know these moves. Probably cancel that heavy with another heavy. Bro, she's kind of cooking me right now. Oh, the DP's a counter. I see. I'm gonna lose! The poison! Yo, skip being a woman. Oh, I could have lost there. <laughs> I keep forgetting uh, the quote-unquote DP takes takes away blue health. Chie came to her senses when I beat her. So what about Yukiko? I'm still scared out of my wits, but I try to talk to her. Yukiko, are you all right? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What? Oh, are you back to normal too? Huh? But you just seemed so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. You'll notice that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. That doesn't sound good. 
crap. So this isn't an act? It'd be a mind control or something. That explains a lot, actually. Damn it. Some surprise party. Still, Teddy's controlling people? Or is Teddy being controlled by somebody else? Control? Done! Who can make Done. that weird? Done! No ordinary person could pull that off. And why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? Think back to what Yukiko said before we fought. It's a Grand Prix for you, Yosuke-kun. For me? Like hell it is. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not enjoying it. I'm, I'm not. In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. Yukiko didn't know what was going on either, so I explained what I'd found out. Only the winner can move on. And nobody can leave until there's a champion. And that, since I fought Chi and Yukiko, my next fight should be with you. That would be the end of it. Oh, and one more thing. There was a student council president. She wasn't in that intro movie that aired on the Midnight Channel. And she acts like she's against this whole thing. So I don't think I'll end up having to fight her. But she doesn't know about Persona, so I can't just let her run around loose. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? You met her? Mm-hmm. When I talked to her, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. Oh yeah, that's right. These convenient invisible walls. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Frise is being controlled by something behind all of this. That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful. And try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it. Yukiko's clear, strong voice gives me that extra push. This tournament might look stupid, but if there's some third party behind this, it may be more serious than I'd first thought. Anyway, to the announcement room. Feet don't fail me now. Body don't fail me now! Damn it. It's supposed to be pretty easy to get to the announcement room. But thanks to all this stupid invisible walls, I have to take the scenic route. I finally managed to make it to the second floor. If I keep going straight, I'll get to the stairs, and then I'll be right there. Ah, Miss President! Miss President! I can see her running up ahead, her long ponytail trailing up behind her. Ponytails be base, though. There's another shape next to her, a round familiar over here, one. Over here. Hey! Teddy! Was I too late? I tried to catch up, but I ended up slamming into an invisible wall and falling to the ground. Ow. It felt like my butt cracked. Come on! Don't pull me like that! Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand! That bear's not in his right mind! I shout out hoping that I can at least get my voice to reach her. But the two of them disappear through the emergency exit at the end of the hall. I knew it. She might be strong. Miss President isn't a match for Persona, Todd, and Teddy. She has to have been captured. He's definitely being controlled. Teddy's not the type to kidnap a girl like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, like, hey, hold, 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 I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. You know, he's been rejected one too many times. He might, he might pull something. Huh? <laughs> if that girl doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world? In order to get into a TV, you have to either have the power to use personas or get someone who does to help you. To help you. And by help, I mean that person could force you to. Yeah. That's actually what was happening in the series of murders last year. Horrible thoughts start to race through my mind. Is that what's going on with Miss President? Is she just another victim? Victim. That word brings to mind someone else. Oh no. Saki, senpai. Saki, no. <laughs> Not Saki.
Damn it, I'll save her. Teddy went through the emergency exit. If you went up the stairs, then the announcement room should be right there. As if my growing desperation wasn't enough, the stupid invisible wall only makes things worse. I managed to calm my racing heart and begin running to make my way to the announcement room. While avoiding the walls, the next spot I managed to make it to was the music room. Damn it, I want to go up, not down. There was a familiar monitor hanging from the ceiling. I wonder what's cooking on TV. Another victim of petty. <laughs> Hello. Looks like you're on a roll. Teddy, what did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. But you can't let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring up the next challenger. Smoke begins blowing out as Teddy makes his announcement. A silhouette appears, I can tell who it is already. There's no way I can mistake that shape. Besides, by process of elimination, there's only one more person it could be. Not a go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew it would be you. And Sister Complex King Pit, just like the other <laughs> 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 Again, Nanako-chan always was precious to you, so... Yosuke, it's true that this is a battle you have long desired. But I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight. Until now. <laughs> How dare you? Calling your Nanako-chan in that intimate way! Yes, sir! I'm sorry, sir! He looks ready to kill me. I bow as deep as I can, so just so I don't have to see his bloodshot eyes. <laughs> oh god, it's horrible! If, if I only had a camera so I could show him this later. I'm forgetting Nanako-san for the moment. It seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. Uh, you? <laughs> His eyes turned Why dead. Why would you forget Nanako? That's ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> Son really likes you no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. I just want him to calm down so we can talk. <laughs> Maybe if I avoid talking about Nanako, I can steer this conversation in some other direction. Yosuke, enough. You always talk to Nanako? Why? Where? What do you mean by always? <laughs> what is the precise date and time when you speak? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You were lying? Are you saying that Nanako doesn't like me? That she doesn't think I'm nice or cool at all? <laughs> For heaven's sake, I'm getting really sick of this crap. So let's just fight. We'll get this over with, okay? And then we can both calm down and talk like rational people. I'm not gonna hold back at all. I know you can take it. Anyway, here goes. If he's not gonna listen, I've got no choice. Uh. <clears throat> Sorry, Nanako-chan. <laughs> that Nanako-chan. What a dummy, right? That's it. Your life is forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have to replay the story on my own. There's so many like good video clips that I can just take to use out of context. <sighs> Oh, man. Your life is forfeit. <laughs> Your life has no purpose. <laughs> I will kill you now. Oh, <laughs> 
Shoot, mass potential? Potential is ratio. Let's try out a special. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! I'm trying to do the special attacks, bro. I'm so bad at this game. The battle is over. You looks up. It's his everyday composed face. Looks like he's back to his good old self. Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? That's my line, damn it! Oh wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? No, Yukiko said the same thing. And Chie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Carnivore Chie. Snow Black Yukiko. Sister Complex Kingpin Yu. I was wondering who'd be powerful enough to brainwash all three of them into acting all weird. But is that what's really going on? None of them remembered what they said to me before our matches. Hell, they seem to think that I'm the one acting all weird. So maybe it's not the case that they're being controlled. What if it was the one being tricked? What if I was the one being tricked here? Whoa, and that means I'm the one who needs to wake up. I hurriedly started rubbing my eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'm still being fooled. I know I'm acting crazy. He opens his mouth to say something. You said that it wasn't your partner, so that was a surprise. Think I'd ever say that. Yeah. Oh, good. He's relieved. It doesn't show in his face, but I can tell. I guess we're okay now. The you Narukami I know is the one sitting right in front of me. Are we standing? So I told you about what's happened so far. Most importantly, the victim. That is, the student council president that Teddy had kidnapped. I see. And the reason the Midnight Channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? Oh, you're right. I forgot how that worked. Yeah, that's a possibility. He's right. There are two ways that the Midnight Channel appears. When the subject isn't in the TV world yet, the video's all fuzzy and hard to see. But if it's clear... Then that means someone's been thrown inside. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Well, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. Even if I say it, I start to really believe that it's true. Whenever I talk with you, it's like my brain just clicks right into place. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this too. You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this, they've probably been forced to participate as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Something with an IQ of 2,000. That sounds strong. Kanji's was... Um... Beefcake Emperor? No way! <laughs> I don't want to run into him! Maybe because you are gay? <laughs> Death! You've begged me a number of times already. Can't only the winner move on? Damn it, he's ecstatic. It's at his heart, he's celebrating, clenching his fists. I know it. problem if you win. So if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you might be in some trouble. No, I don't want to be alone with him! <laughs> Fine, I'll go. This must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. Oh my goodness. You mean me or my ass? <laughs> no, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. You. <laughs> Although I prefer uh, Narukami as a character, Yosuke's, uh, Yosuke's side's been funny. I've been enjoying it. <laughs> uh, it kind of makes sense, though, because Narukami main character with uh, Margaret and must know the plot and all that stuff. Sister Complex or no, he's still my friend. Leave the rest to me, big bro. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. I'm not saying that you're my big bro. It's just, 
You were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. Bro! Trying to cover my embarrassment, but embarrassment told the joke didn't seem to work. Oh, now I'm even more embarrassed. Anyway, leave this to me. I'll be going now. I try to leave on a high note by acting in high spirits, so I wave to you and dash out of the music room. This story's already big improvement over use. I agree, actually. I'm enjoying it a lot more. <laughs> but one thing I always do enjoy about, like, Persona games, because obviously we're going to go into the supernatural in some way. I like how they go into why this is happening and, like, what the characters are initially thinking on what to do. Because <laughs> usually these Persona games at the end is kill God, right? <laughs> so everything in between, uh... Matters a lot more, and I do like that from Persona. Who's my next opponent? The Emperor? His Imperial Highness? <laughs> no use dreading it. Ah, Presente. I mean, Yosuke kun. Miss President, booyah! My ass is safe. I was expecting Kanji, but our student council president and Teddy are waiting for me inside. It looks like I caught up with them. There's a ton of stuff that I need to get straight. I start off by throwing Teddy a single question. Hey Teddy, what do you love most? A passionate battle with one's life at risk, of course! There we have it. <laughs> he didn't say woman. Uh, yeah, that's not Teddy. The real one has said all the fly honey bears or something. All right then, let's fight. I'll try not to make it hurt too much, but you gotta go down. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying the Grand Prix, Yosuke. Just like I hoped. I held this Grand Prix just for you, after all. I'm glad you like it, Yosuke. People have been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. It's hmm. only in this world that you can be serious about anything. The idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. Oh no. I can't let that get to me. Teddy's being controlled. Those are the words of whoever's making us fight. But as he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind. There is no enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. What Teddy said goes along with something else. You said it. You could go said it. This Grand Prix was for me. Don't tell me. This whole thing is to fulfill my wishes. I mean, I know that Teddy and Risei's personas are special and that they can connect to people's minds and stuff. And Risei can do a lot of other stuff too. Is it possible for her to make people hear things that nobody's saying when they're talking? And did she use that power to set up this Grand Prix for me? Deep in my heart, did I really want this to happen? That's not true. You were so cool, Yosuke. Dang, bro. You're stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Don't worry, I'll let you win this one. You're lying. What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. I'd forgotten about her for a minute there. Hey, yeah, what about her? She has nothing to do with this. I've never met her up until now. Yeah. I prepared that girl as a heroine for you. Let's face it. There's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke-kun? What the hell does he mean, prepared? She's just a normal girl. No way. Teddy didn't push her in here, did he? He didn't get her caught in this so that I can win the championship and save the dame, did he? Thought he was talking about the drug? <laughs> way too much for me. I stood there with my mouth gaping wide open. Unable to utter a word. No goddamn way. What the hell? I never asked for any of this. 
How could I want any of this to happen? That preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. My body, my body suddenly froze. That's right. I felt it when I saw that ad on the TV, didn't I? That it was beginning. That's something I've been waiting for. Something that would change me has come again. No, that's not true. Oh! I tried to clear my thought in my head by shouting, but now the suspicion has snuck its way into my mind. I know that's stuck for good. Do I really hate this crazy situation? Can I honestly say that I'm not enjoying it? No, that's not it. Shut up! You're you're being controlled. I'll help you come to your senses. I kind of see where Yosuke is coming from, honestly. Like, even though they're they're doing good deeds, saving people, like the thrill of having these powers and all that stuff, uh, I kind of see it. Interesting. Finally. What kind of music is this? Oh, that's why I do that. Am I going to lose? What? I... Ah! What the fuck? You just say Kaioken? <laughs> I don't know. I was too in shock to realize what was going on. Dude, he already broke my persona, dude. I've been waiting for this. Don't worry, I folded him back. The day is saved. Teddy, Miss President, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? Can't bear the look she's given me. Not confused, but not judging, so I turn away. Did I really want to beat up my friends? I don't want to believe it. First, I need to ask Teddy here what his real intentions are. Whatever may have secretly wanted, that's no reason to push an innocent girl into a TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? I bit my lip and wake Teddy up. Okay. Sorry, Teddy. Let's go back. This Grand Prix's over. Huh? It's over? It ended while everyone was making fun of me? Making fun of you? What? You were the host. You had on these weird clothes. That wasn't the real me. Yosuke, even you thought that was me? <laughs> we sleep in the same food. <laughs> Tell a beast like that apart from me. You don't sleep in the same room. <laughs> Wait, does that mean it's someone else doing this? I wasn't too sure of him either when I first came across him. I mean, what are the odds there'd be two with someone that crazy looking? 
I keep telling you, can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk. Check out the fur. Oh, I don't want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Wait, back up, huh? The teddy on the monitor is a fake. I calm Teddy down and get him to explain things to me. Seems that the general is some kind of copy of him. The TV world was already like this when he got here. What the hell? There is no enemy, my ass. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Anyway, the reason he's with this president isn't because he'd capture her. It's because she thought he was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up with him, Teddy had begun thinking of himself and as her knight in shining armor. So he was going with her to the announcement room. Way to confuse me. I've been doing my best to get myself unframed. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. So Kanji's out of the bracket? Phew. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that. Um... I try to figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling like a ringing in my ears knocks the thoughts away. I mean, not in my ears, it's in my head! But it's not a sound. It's weak at first, but I know it's getting stronger. It's... Yusuke Senpai! <gasps> Is Teddy with you too? Rise. I can hear Risei, but not over the school's PA system. From her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. And maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently. Or is this about to start? Or is about to start I'm so soon? So glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other too. Oh, oh, I'm here too, and so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. I do sense one more presence there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. Hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not! I'm not that big of a ditz. I'm in the announcement room now. General Teddy was watching me, but he left, so I'm using this chance to contact you guys. <laughs> he left. <laughs> hey, don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing. Not while you're all being forced to fight. She sounds all ready for action now, but considering how desperate her voice sounded at the beginning, I know she's trying to act tough. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. Unlike us, she doesn't know if there's ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. Awkwardly recap what I know for her. This Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? What? What the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is, but if it's doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. If Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then that makes all the stuff he said before the fight a lie. But, lie or not, it did make sense. I mean, even if Teddy isn't the bad guy here, this Grand Prix is being held for my benefit. I mean, that's pretty much been, that's pretty much settled. <sighs> I think I have a good idea on who the poor sucker is. Do you think maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a Give second. Me a second. I'll, search I'll search for him. For him. Reese's transmission stops for a second. If my guess is right, then there's a big chance he's already gone. Come on, let him not be there anymore. Reese came back online. Teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? Supposed to get jumped. Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it because she's not a Persona user? No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. 
If the enemy's still around, it's not a good idea if he finds out that Risa can use a persona to contact us. I make sure Risa is actually disconnected before I turn back to Teddy. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her. He's such a spaz. This is not the time to be fawning over cute girls, even when as hot as Miss President. There's a bad guy out there, trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe he can be so easygoing about this because he truly believes that nothing can drive a wedge between us. Jeez, what am I thinking? Whether that's true or not, he did take down Kanji. I could trust him to look after Miss President. Anyway, now that Risei's checked, there's one more thing that I'm certain of. The true identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who would bother setting up this Grand Prix just for me. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something. Hmm. I was hoping that he would just disappear once I'd figure out what was happening. But I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, the thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow. This is even worse. I mean, this is completely my fault. <sighs> Looks like I'm just going to have to pay my shadow another visit. But just as I make my mind up, I try to leave the classroom. Miss President blocks my path. Wait, what's going on? I demand an explanation. There's no time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you, as student council president, if you're going to the announcement room, you gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called a persona. And this is no normal tournament. I'll be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school, either. Oh, how can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat! Huh? It's not your problem, miss. I'm all ready to give a verbal smackdown. The look in her face is so serious at the pause. She eventually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way as student council president. I gotta have a talk with her about this. Does she mean the PA we heard when I first met her? You aren't worth anyone's effort. You're just get in the way that caused trouble for the people around you. Don't let it get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Wait, huh? If this Grand Prix is all for me and she just got caught up in it, what's the point in belittling her like that? Of course it bothers me. I like this school. She whimpers slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl before. Ugh, oh, fine, I guess it can't be helped. I am to blame for all that's happening. So I smile jokingly and hold on my hand. How about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Yosuke kun. Alright. You're on. Dang, bro! He made it! Well, even though she's only gone off the joke, I asked her out and she said yes. Yeah, awesome! Oh, wait! What about me? I want to go on a date too. You can't leave me out! Oh, sorry. You lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry, though. We'll be back soon. No! The date slipped through my claws! <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. Aww. Thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? Hmm. Teddy really got cucked. Shut up, I'm not you. 
<laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I'm not like uh, reading. I'm just there's a text message I have I to like reply to. Well, I'm not surprised since you ran for student council president. A good job winning that, by the way. Oh yeah, what's your name? My name? I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. My name, I, I don't know. Huh? I can't remember it at all. I've been trying all this time. But I, I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too. Until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? You mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? She seems really upset about this. I bet that's only putting more pressure on her. She's seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would help her calm down a little. I decide to answer every question she has one at a time. Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of. Or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that, an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once, but it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. Sure hope that's all I have to do. <laughs> Congratulations, Yosuke, you got two personas. <laughs> Sounds rough. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry, I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. Oh great, now I've got her all nervous too. Trying to cheer her up, I try to play the good parts. Try to play up the good parts. You're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? You've been a real big help, Yosuke-kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. You sure have. She finally smiled. It's only a little one, but it's there. Score! Is this really the first time seeing her smile? No. Oh damn, she it really is cute. I started getting embarrassed about having faked asking her out on a date. My feet speed up. Crap, now I'm literally running away from her. You fool, go back! Talk about chicken hearted. Uh, Smash tournament half an hour. Do, do, do. I have too many tabs open on my phone, man. The tab in particular I was looking for. Where'd it go? Senpai. Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake Teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, this doesn't look anything like the real announcement room. <laughs> I'm glad Yosuke made note of that and not Narukami, because kind of Narukami's only been there for a year. And he's not even going to that school anymore. <laughs> what are you freaking out about? This is your chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right, Yosuke? Huh? Oh, here it goes. Yosuke kun's voice. Here we go. Hey there, Yosuke. Yosuke Senpai's shadow? Oh, oh Raggy! <laughs> At least I can confront him without freaking out like I did last year. That is true. I thought you merged back with me. I'll, I'll come, come out anytime, anytime you start, start ignoring me. me. I'm, I'm always watching you. I am you, after all. This is a shadow? Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. I blurt it up before I have time to get second thoughts. This should do it. Hmm. And the shadow starts laughing instead. <laughs> Not bad, but that's exactly what I mean by ignoring. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Don't tell me. Hold on a sec. Does that mean? Uh oh. I forgot logic. It's faster just to try it. Jiraiya! My nervous voice fills the announcement room, and that's it. My persona Jiraiya doesn't appear- OH SNAP! So the shadow begins laughing even harder. No way. So you really are. To be honest, I was still doubtful. I had hoped that he wasn't my shadow. I mean, of course I didn't want it to believe I was the cause of this Grand Prix mess, let alone admit that I was actually enjoying it. That makes no sense. If he's aware he, his shadow is out, he was using Jiraiya earlier. Needs luck. My entire body shakes. Is this because I was weak? Is that why everyone got dragged into it? Yep. Because I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You got, got it. it. I'm, I'm sure, sure you understand without me having to tell you. I couldn't save Saki Senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again, but... I still wished for this. I was proud that Inaba was peaceful. And I thought that I could finally be proud of putting Saki Senpai's death behind me. And yet, was I really faking all of that? In the end, am I just a loser who puts his own boredom over the death of a loved one? Senpai. I could hear the quiver in Risei's voice. No. This isn't true. Don't look at me. This this isn't me. Oh no. This is all your desire. Trust me, I know. I am you after all. I can feel myself ready to fall to my knees. I can't use my persona anymore. I thought I had changed. But now I've literally lost everything. You're I have to accept it. My mind knew what to do, but my heart still raged against it. Even before I knew what I was saying, the words were flying from my mouth. You're not. No, Senpai, look at me. I lift my eyes to look at Rise. There she was, a Miss President standing next to her. It was tough seeing the looks on their faces. I look away quickly, but Rise scolds me. No matter what weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. So please, don't deny who you are. Why'd you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. Risei closes her eyes and folds her hands as if in prayer. I see the elegant shape of her persona appear behind her. In that instant, voices pour into my head. These are... You moron! What are you saying? Who do you think we are? Yosuke-kun? We heard everything. But there's nothing for you to be afraid of. I don't really get what's going on, but if it's gonna keep showing up, you just gotta beat the crap out of it every time. 
We're all with you, Yosuke. You can rely on me too, you know. Anyone can fall prey to the Oh, <laughs> now it's here. It's not just you, Senpai. It's true for all of us. Everyone. My vision suddenly clears. I didn't even realize that I was squeezing my eyes shut. Huh? Naoto? How come you're here? That's... that's well... Who cares why? There's more important stuff at stake here! And after Chie, the clearest voice of all. You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time? Yosuke, believe in us. When I hear my partner's voice, I draw a, ra a raged, ragged breath. I catch myself and inhale deeply, not noticing until now just how much I had tensed up in the last few moments. Risei, the bringer of these voices, turns to me. From the smile on her face, I know that she expects me to feel better now. And even though she has to be scared right now, she cares enough to smile for me when I'm feeling down. I... That's right. I finally realized the simplest truth. The biggest difference between the person I was last year and the person I am now. Now I have my friends that accept me, even when I doubt myself. I... How can I not believe in myself? How can I be too weak to stand up? They're all believing in me. I'm not alone. Not anymore. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? A grade A moron. I raise my head and look straight at my shadow. Any trace of the fear I had is completely gone. I thought I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? What? what? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak. But that doesn't mean I need to run away. I'll keep fighting my weakness. And I'll do it as many times as it takes. Even if that never stops. <clears throat> my heart is calm. I was conflicted just a moment ago. But now everything has made clear. They believe in me. And knowing that, I feel their faint, their faith in me pushing me forward. I can feel the power surging in me. The force filling my spirit causes me to shout out. Come, Persona! Yes, sir! Okay, perfect. I think we're going to finish the story before my tournament starts, so that's good. I don't want to finish on a special, but I got too many pot shots in. You did it, Senpai! That was awesome! I let Risei's adulation wash over me, but there's something bugging me. Something that could be really bad for me. About my conversation with my shadow. Did you? <laughs> I hijacked the school PA system. I knew it. <laughs> Everyone had been backing me up because they've been here and everything. <laughs> so lead up to it. No! You saw my shadow last time. And now everyone got to listen in? Ah, oh, so lame. That's not true. You were really cool, senpai. <laughs> Thanks. Ugh, <sighs> oh, Miss President looks like she's having trouble finding words for this. Damn, she's horrified by me. Third girl's my girlfriend. I can't blame her. She was left out of the picture. 
But, well, explaining it to her can wait. I really need to do something about my shadow. But when I turn around, my shadow isn't there. Where did he go? If he disappears, won't my persona... Wait. Something's not right. I used my persona during that fight. But my persona's my shadow, so... My shadow left me. How could I have used my... Exactly! That's what I'm saying, bro! As I'm struggling with that, Risei speaks up. Something's not right. Her voice is stiff. Did she just think of the same conundrum that I did? No. That's not all. There's an eerie presence all around. Even I can feel it. Must be hitting Risei like a jolt of electricity. I can't let my guard down yet. Yeah. Rise, Miss President, stay close to- Right at that moment, the lights go out and darkness covers the room. Ah! What the hell? I can't believe you've made it this far. They repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting their friends, but they still didn't lose heart. The lights come back on. When did they- when they do, the fake Teddy's standing there. Why is it looking like that now? Wait, was it the one talking in that weird voice? Fake Teddy ignores me and looks at Miss President. No one can understand you after all. What a shame. Who are you? Then you weren't my shadow? I want to make people fight. I especially want friends to fight against each other. Then maybe they'll understand how I feel. That was your wish, wasn't it? What are you saying? What does it mean? That was my wish. And what's with that voice? Wait a minute. It's not talking to me. Then, you mean... Senpai, get back! This shadow's reacting to Miss President! It was really her shadow! What? I can feel my brain cracking open like a dropped watermelon. That's Miss President's shadow? But I just said it was my shadow. But, now that I think about it, this General Teddy has always been hostile to her ever since we met outside the school. That would explain Risei's voice on the PA system, too. Well, duh. If a normal person in here is long enough, of course her shadow is going to split away from her. I should have known that. After all, that's exactly what kept happening last year. Miss President just looks so healthy that it never occurred to me. This is just... As if to mock my astonishment, the shadow keeps talking in General Teddy's shape. <laughs> I did exactly what you wished. So, how did that work out for you? I... They still couldn't understand you. No one can really understand how we feel, can they? I... Come on! How much longer are you going to keep deceiving yourself? Didn't you hear them say you shouldn't ignore who you are? Here, I'll show you your reality. What was that sound? The enemy finally shows its real form. A lot of cutscene incoming! Beware! Shadow. The true self. That's... that's my face. Well, that's all the same, even though her shadow has the same face. Her body is wrapped in metal. 
Miss President screams at what appears to be something from a sci-fi flick. Well, you must remember now. No, I'm not like that. No, Miss President, calm down. A shadow doesn't just take on your appearance. You look like a twisted version of you to agitate you even more. No, no. I try calming her down, but my words aren't reaching her. She just keeps shaking her head in denial. What's going on here? What's going on here? Shadows are things that exemplify what their originals want to be. I've never heard of them transforming into other people. The shadow sees my confusion and smiles. It's an illusion. Huh? It's an illusion. Isn't that what you thought when you fought your friends? Your senses were being deceived. Warping what you saw. Twisting what you heard. That's how you made my senpai fight each other. Is that your power? Not just mine. It's actually our power. Isn't that so? Me. Our. What is she saying? No. I'm not like you. I'm human. Miss President crouches down and says the words that are always bad. With that, the shadow smile grows even more menacing and it snaps its fingers again. At any moment, that moment, something like TV static flashes around my eyes. I rub my eyes. The static doesn't cover my entire field of view, but slowly begins to focus around Miss President. When it clears, she's changed. Metallic limbs stretch from her uniform. Something metallic, like wings, unfurl from her back. There's no doubt she's the same as the shadow standing in front of us. She cries out and tries to cover her ears. But when she does, the sound of metal grinding against metal accompanies her movements. I see myself reflected in the shiny metal of her fingers. A robot? So that means... The Shadow isn't some fan fancy fantasy version? That's her true self. So Miss President was the one trying to look like a human? Shadow points at me, and I'm at a loss for words. I look around, but in the end, my eyes meet hers. We both fall silent. In those few seconds, I can feel a deep rift growing between us. Yosuke-kun? No, don't get me wrong. I was just a little surprised. I'm human! Wait, I'm sorry, I... Suddenly, there's an explosion so loud, I think my eardrums are blown out. The smoke makes me cough and my eyes tear up. TEAR GAS! I manage to focus to see a hole in the wall. I can barely see through the smoke, but I can see the hallway on the other side. Eventually, the smoke clears and a shape steps through the hole. What the? I didn't sense anything until now! It was a girl. Blonde hair, blue crystal-like eyes. But there are metallic sounds as she walks. So this is where you were. Another robot girl? It's another girl with a mechanical body, just like the Shadow and Miss President. She looks at the trembling president and calls out. You must remember. That is the only way the future will open up to you. You must accept it, no matter how painful it may be. Your true name is fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys. Labrys? Weapon? What? What is going on here? Dun dun dun! Oh, we unlock now it's a story. And we unlock Mitsuru! Best P3 girl story! And we learned Akihiko's story! I guess his story! That's pretty cool. However, we're not doing any of those right now. 
So yeah, next time on Persona 4 Arena, we'll be tackling Chie Satanaka's story. Uh, that was a good one from Yosuke, I enjoyed it. So, gamers, if you're watching this live right now, I'm about to go offline for a bit. I'm going to set up Smash Ultimate because we are playing in a tournament in 13 minutes! So I should probably go get ready for that. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back later for watching today live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, sayonara. <laughs>